All right, so drill uh, 3.2 is quite similar to the to, to the problems which we have been doing in chapter number two, that is electric flux density. So if you have uh, if you know how to calculate electric field intensity, to 3.2 is not uh, should not be a big deal for you. Uh, drill 3.3 uh, gives us a flux density D and uh, B drill 3.3 gives us flux density uh, which is 0.3 r square a r uh, nano coulombs per meter square in free space okay and in part a it asks us to find electric field intensity at point p 25 degrees 90 degrees so since the coordinates are two of the coordinates are degrees so uh, it is implicit that this point p is given in its spherical coordinate system and point in part b we are asked to find the total charge within the uh, sphere r equals 3 so total charge hame chahiye within r equals 3 <coughs> sphere <coughs> And in part C, we are asked to find the same thing, <coughs> excuse me, but for R equals 4 sphere. So, uh, part H should not be a big deal for you. Why? Because you know that the relationship between D and E is quite straightforward. So, you can use this expression uh, to find E, D is given, and replace the value. So, I am not going in that detail. However, this <coughs> part B, you should also know this, this is not a, uh, again, not a difficult problem for you. Apply Gauss's law, why? Because D is, has been given to us and we need the total charge. So, we know that according to Gauss's law, closed loop integral of D dot DS gives us the total charge enclosed by this surface, okay? So, the surface is given to us that uh, we need to find if this is the uh, field distribution then find the charge <coughs> within r equals 3 sphere now you should know that r equals 3 is nothing but a sphere of radius 3 so how about proceeding proceeding let's proceed uh, so double integral d is 0 0.3 0 0.3 r square a r okay so uh, we need so this is a sphere and if I want to take a patch on uh, this sphere, so this will give me, for this I should write r square sin theta d theta d phi a r. Why? You should know this. So actually we need the formula for the patch on the, on the sphere for which r is definitely constant so replace this d s here so r square sine theta d theta d phi a r carry out the dot product okay only the only the magnitude would remain keeping the constants out q is equals to 0.3 is constant for r equals 3 sphere this is sphere definitely r is constant so r square r square r raised to 4 <coughs> and then we have got uh, sine theta d theta d phi so double integral first with respect to theta and then with respect to phi so since we are interested in the charge enclosed by whole of the sphere in other words uh, we are interested in the flux which is crossing this whole sphere which will be equal to the charge enclosed by this sphere according to Gauss's law. So we should keep the maximum limits of that's phi and theta. So phi 0 to 2 pi, theta from 0 to pi and now if we just replace the value of r which is 3 <coughs> raised to 4 this will be 2 pi minus 0 if you integrate this you will get minus of cos theta and put the limits cos phi 
uh, cos pi is minus 1 okay and uh, minus cos 0 is minus 1 again so uh, the, if you if you solve this you will get the answer which is 305 305 so you should watch out for the uh, units nanocoulombs because d was given in nanocoulombs per meter square this was for part uh, b now for part c you have to find the same the the amount of charge uh, within a different uh, sphere now which is larger obviously so the problem is essentially the same so you'll carry on the problem in the similar manner so and at the end what will be left with 0.3 here you'll have to write 4 because r is 4 and rest of the things will be the same so you will be getting your answer this way okay